Okay, so we shall have a vote. <coughs> bigger wrong doer then the word after that is mim man okay mim man okay mim man is actually made of two words okay so it is made of mim man mim 
human is made of min plus man. Min and man. Okay. Min, again, man is the same word here. Who? So man means who and min means from or then. So this will be from or then. Okay. So if you combine these two words together then the sound of this mean, this noon, will change into the sound of meme. So it will become like two memes. That's the rule of recitation. That if there is a meme and there is a noon before that, then we pronounce this as another meme. So like two memes there. So this will be like mim and man. Okay? And these two memes we can write down like a shadda here. So mimman means then who or from whom or then who or then whoever. Okay. So then and just to make a good sentence, I'm going to write down him who. So the meaning will be, who is a Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is it like a, putting a question. Who is a bigger wrongdoer than him who? And this who Allah is going to define that who this person is. Okay. Or should we put just then who, then who? Or we then who, to? then whoever. Yes, you can do the same thing. Then who, okay, make it. Yeah, then who or then him who. So it's the same thing, so that's the reason I put down him there. So who is bigger wrongdoer than him? Okay. Then him. Or who him? You can translate many different ways to make a proper English sentence. Okay. Now who is this person who is doing a bigger wrong? That is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines as Mana a masajid Allah. Okay? So, so that is the definition of this person in next few words of the ayah. Okay? So the word is Neem, Noon, and Ayn. Okay? This means to forbid or to stop. to start. Neem, noon, ayin means to forbid someone or to stop someone. Okay? So, if we have fa'ala when we put three fa'alas it becomes he did. Okay? Fa'ala, he did. So from here, mana'a will mean he stopped. Or the one who forbade, stop someone. Now stop from what? Stop from masajidallahi. Okay? So the so this one is who is stopped. Okay. But you have two mean there. Hmm? Okay. Um, when we read, okay, this is another thing. Let's let's look at that. So the <coughs> word is min man, which was mim mm -hmm. man. This is the one word, right? Then you have. Mana'a like that. 
mana of height. Okay. So now the same situation. There is a noon before this meme. So you do not pronounce this noon, but you pronounce meme twice. So that's the reason you put a shadda there. Okay. So now the pronunciation will be mim man. Mim mam. Right? Mim ma. Mim mam. 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 Oh, mim mam. Mam. Yeah, this noon becomes silent. Instead, you pronounce this mim. Okay? So it was, originally it was mim man. But the sound of this noon will go away now. And you pronounce mim mam. All memes, there's no noon sound anymore. Okay? Mim, so this is for the pronunciation. We put a shut down the meme and do not sound noon. Okay? So that's the, the answer. So, so who is bigger wrongdoer than that person who is stopped? Okay? Stop from what? Okay? That are the next few words. Okay, so we have these letters, seen, jim and dal. This means to make sajda. Okay? Now, if we put a meme in the beginning and pronounce this way, masjidun, this becomes a place of sajda. Place of sajda is masjid. Okay? So this is like masjid. Okay? Its plural is masajid. Masajid is plural. Mosques, Masajidun, is the places of worship. Okay? Places <coughs> of worshipping are Masajid. The Masajidun. Okay? So, when you combine this word Masajidun with Allahu, it will become Masajidullahi. The places of worship of Allah. Masajidullahi, like Baitullahi. No? Bait is house of Allah. But when we say Baitullahi, house of Allah. When we say Masajidullahi, the places of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wherever Allah is worshipped, in any place, this will be Masajidullahi. Okay? So it will be places of worship <coughs> of worship of Allah places of worship of Allah are masajid Allah so Allah says that who is a bigger wrongdoing person who stops people from going to the masajid? Who is a bigger wrongdoer than a person who stops people, who forbids people to go to the masajid? Masajid Allah can be any places of worship. It doesn't have to be a particular place of worship. It could be any places of worship. Wherever Allah is worshipped, that those places are Masajidullahi. Here will be Masajidullahi because it's a Mansu, Maful state. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the form of a question. And who is bigger? It's like asking question, but it actually Allah is emphasizing that who can be a bigger wrongdoer person who is going to stop or who is stopped people to go to the places of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? The next part is, Ayyad Ayyuz Kara Fiha. 
Okay. Let's look at those words. Un means that. Un means that. Now the next word is from these three root letters, the, ta, and ra. Okay, the kara. This means to mention or to remember. Zikr of Allah. Okay, na zikr of Allah is remembering Allah or to mentioning about Allah. Okay, so here we can say remember. Zakara, Zal, Kaf, and Ram is to remember. Okay, you can say to remember. Okay. Now, from the again from the grammar table, when we put a ya in the beginning, yaz kuru, okay. yaf alu. Okay. It becomes he does that. Yaf alo means he does. Yaf kuru means he remembers. He remembers. Present tense, third person. He remembers. Okay. Yaf kuru means someone is remembering Allah subhanahu wa taala. So it is the person who is remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So we will say Yazkuru. He remembers. Yaf alu. He does. Yazkuru. He remembers. So there is a person who is going to remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We call it that he is remembering or he remembers Yazkuru. Okay. Now, if I make a small change here. Which is same four letters. If I change the first two letters this way, make this a dhamma and this one a fatah. Is instead of before ya had a fatha, I made a dhamma. Ka kaf had a dhamma, I made a fatha. This is the rule. Is it okay if I do? Sure. This is the rule of making a active voice into a passive voice. Okay. Making an active into a passive. Okay. So let's just recall the way we do. We have done this few times. If you have these three letters, kaf, ta, and lam, these three letters, and I combine them with a fataha on each one of them, katala. Katala means he killed. He killed. Okay. If I make a change in here, this way, that I change the first and the second letters are up like this. On the first letter, I made a dhamma here. Instead of fata, on the second one, I made a kasra here. So this word is now kotila. Kotila became a passive voice. Okay, the meaning will be he was killed. He was killed. Okay. So this is an active voice in English, active sentence, and this is a passive. The difference in this is that 
someone killed someone. So you say he killed, right? But here, this is a different person. This is, you're saying he was killed, okay? So this is not the same person as this person. Also, in the passive sentence, you don't know the killer here. He was killed, means somebody was killed, right? But, but you don't know who killed, right? Right? But here you know he killed. Okay, if I put a, put a name there, okay? I put a name there, X, Y, Z killed, which means I have a name there of the person. But if I say X, Y, Z was killed, that same person was killed, but you don't know who killed him. So that's how the active and the passive in English work. Okay? In Arabic, instead of changing the person here and doing all these things, all you do simply just change the Arab there. The sign? Harakats. Harakats, yeah. So, Ka, Fataha will change into Dhamma. And this Fataha on the second letter will change into a Kasra. By doing this way in Arabic, you can change an active into a passive. Okay? The same thing is being done here. Yazukuru, he remembers. Okay? By changing those, and that's a slightly different rule, it will become he was remembered. Actually, this is a present tense, so it will be he is remembered. He is remembered. <coughs> but why is that? Is Zay instead of Ra? Is that? Yes. No, no, the bottom one. Right there. Yes. Yeah. Yuz. Yuz. No, the last one. Karu. Ru or Ra? Yes. Ra. Karu. So now, remember, look at this one. He remembers. Okay, now he, we're talking about the remember, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He remembers, so which means some person is remembering Allah. Okay. He is someone who is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. When I said he is remembered, who is this he now? He is Allah now. Okay. So the, the person changed here. Going from the active voice to the passive voice, the person is changed, just like we saw here. He killed and he was killed. These are two different people. Okay? Now again, look at this sentence, in this word. He is remembered, means Allah is being remembered, but you don't know who is remembering him. You don't know who is the person who is mentioning his name. Remembering means mentioning Allah or mentioning his name, okay, or glorifying him, okay. So here, this was a person, but here it changed into Allah, okay, the person changed. So here, an yuzukara, okay, so there is one more change that take, takes place here. So the word is yuzu. Garu. This was a use Garu, right? This word An has a characteristic that when a verb comes after this, it changes the last letter Dhamma into a Fata. Okay? This is in the state of Rafa, it becomes Nasa. We have discussed. So because of this An, this will become Yuzukara. Okay. So the meaning will be that he is remembered. That he is remembered. Okay. And I'm just going to put because now it's about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is remembered. But Allah is already there. Right. So now you don't have to write he. Yeah. So far I have written this much. Okay. So now, if I put Allah after that, 